you were recruited. Who recruited you to become the Undersecretary for Administration? The former Secretary and Vice President, uh, Sara, Your Honor, Mr. Chair. And would you know why? Bakit ikaw ang napusuan na bigyan at pagkalooban nitong pagiging Undersecretary for Administration ng Department of Education? As to the uh, reason, the actual reason behind it, I was not aware, but uh, I can surmise the trust and confidence that uh, she has on me. That uh, is maybe correct. Maybe the, the reason, ma'am. The trust and confidence that you were able to establish as head of Task Force Davao in 2017 and being the the one in charge of the 10th Infantry Division in Regions 11, 12, and 13 were very significant, not only in your engagement as highly technical consultant, but in your appointment as well as Undersecretary for Administration of DepEd. We agree on that, General Memvin. Yes, uh, Your Honor, Mr. Chair. As a matter of fact, to illustrate how the former secretary trusted you, may I ask, are you aware of Department Order Number 78, General Mempin? Yes, ma'am. What is Department Order Number 78? It's about uh, the uh, procurement, ma'am. With all due respect, dito po sa Department Number 78, ibinibigay po ang mandato na pamunuan ang Department Computerization Program hmm? sa Program Director. You confirm this? Yes, I stand corrected. So about In other uh, words, since 2010, General Memphine, ang, com ang Department Computerization Program ay pinamumunuan ng Program Director. Ito po ang nakasaad sa Department Order Number 78. But because the former secretary trusted you so much on this position of being the Undersecretary for Administration, the DepEd issued DO Number 16, Series of 2023. Would you like to enlighten us kung ano po itong DO 16, Series of 2023? Uh, actually, it's the revision of... Uh the Department of Order uh, 78, ma'am, Series 202010. Uh, it's uh, actually revising uh, the compositions of uh, the those for the procurement. To be specific, of, General Memphis, with all due respect, ano ho ang pinaka significant na naging pagbabago in terms of the DepEd computerization program from DO78? To DO 16. It's not only the uh, director who decides for the uh, computer uh, procurement of uh, department computerization program. For the information of the committee, General Memphin, it is clear that from DO number 16, the management of the department's computerization program was transferred from the program director to the Undersecretary for Administration, and that is you, General Memphine. That is how the former Secretary trusted you, a policy which has long been existing for 13 long years, 2010, was suddenly changed, transferring the management of DepEd computerization program from the program director to the office of the Undersecretary for administration. Do you agree with me? Uh, pa yes, ma'am. Ma can I uh, elaborate, Mr. Chair? Yes, please. Uh, please continue. Actually, be before uh, the computerization program is, uh, because actually we notice uh, uh, some issues in the DCP, pro DCP procurement particularly in terms of uh, the members. So, because uh, there's a huge amount of money involved in the DepEd computerization program, so it was agreed through the executive uh, 
uh, committee uh, as a collegial body to elevate the authority of uh, deciding the DepEd computerization program from program director to uh, but uh, basically the program director is uh, actively involved in the uh, decision making. I understand making. General Mempi. Now let us go to the DepEd computerization program. Per fiscal year 2023, mayroon po kayong report ang sabi nyo the delay and underperformance in procuring the ICT packages for 2023 were mainly due to the reconfiguration of the original specification and modifications of the package contents. You agree with this? Uh, yes. yes. Uh, because this is in your report. But I wish to ask General Mempin, how come in your physical target versus accomplishment, kindly show on the screen, ito pong fiscal year 2023, this is your time, as the one heading the DepEd computerization program, simultaneous with you being the Undersecretary for Administration. Zero percent po ang accomplishment ng DepEd computerization program. Can you please enlighten us on this? Uh, actually, ma'am, uh, nandito po yung uh, director ng uh, ICTS, but uh, to, to give you insight on uh, the performance, because ma'am, uh, when we arrived in DepEd 2023, actually, it's still the 2022 uh, DCP programs uh, being processed because of the delay during the 2022 because of the change of uh, the uh, administration. So actually, ma'am, uh, late uh, uh, 2023 na po na process completely yung May we uh, know why, DCP. General Memphin? Of course, we understand from the records Na yung 2023 budget, hindi nyo po na utilize and that is the reason kung bakit naka 0% ang accomplishment rate. May we know the reason why? Uh, because of uh, the partly of uh, the procurement process because uh, it has to go to the Bids uh, and Awards Committee and uh, the members of the Bids and Awards Committee is uh, still uh, pull uh, hands in pull in terms of the uh, DCP But of course 2020. you realize, General Memphis, the value of this DepEd computerization program with respect to the learning of the students who are supposedly relying on this. Tama po ba? That's uh, correct, Your Honor, Mr. And Chair. to complete the picture, General Memphis, I wish to share to the committee, mayroon po kayong na-procure 44,638 ICT packages and DepEd packages sa taong 2022 and 2023. Ngunit ayon sa annual audit report ng COA, ang na-deliver nyo lang is 16,580. This is not even one half of what is supposed to be delivered. So to make it clear, General Memphis, na kapag procure po kayo ng 44,638 ICT packages, but per report of COA, ang delivered palang is 16,580, equivalent to 37% of the supposed accomplishment. Can you please explain this? Uh, Ma'am, uh, Your Honor, uh, Mr. Chair, uh, if I uh, may uh, request the uh, uh, director of uh, ICTS because uh, uh, I, I was not already out of uh, uh, DepEd since uh, July, so I'm not aware of the updates in terms of uh, deliveries with regards so that uh, maybe General we Memphis, could have with a all good due picture. respect, the procurement happened in 2023. Yes, ma'am. Ibig na po ito. 44,638 ICT packages. You were still with DepEd. 
Yes, ma'am. But uh, only last July 2024. Tama yes, po ba? From your perspective as Under Secretary for Administration and the one heading the DepEd Computerization Program. Ano po ba naging appreciation nyo dito? Anong naging dahilan? Why you were way below the supposed accomplishment when in fact, ang dami nyo naman palang nabili? Or, if I may rephrase the question, nasan po yung nawawalang ICT packages? Ah... Uh, Your Honor, Mr. Chair, uh, uh, po, during the 2023, uh, only the DCP 2022 DCP 2022 was processed, uh, procured, and only started uh, delivering in late uh, 2023. And uh, actually. Only in, the first in three. In both that, dates that you mentioned, General Memphin, you're very much connected still with the Department of Education. Yes, yes, ma'am. Uh, so I'm explaining that uh, during the 2023, ma'am, the DCP 2022 is uh, uh, prioritized, so it's only being uh, deliberated or processed in the procurement. And late of uh, October, that's only. There are only, or there were only three lots of DCP which were uh, successfully bidded out, and uh, 13 Manfine, was processed in 20. If I may interrupt, let's simplify the question. The 44,638 ICT packages were procured during that time. Only 16,000 were delivered. Nasan po yung iba? Mama. Because you, the 13, the three lots supposedly delivered during December and early January of uh, 2024 uh, were uh, subject to uh, request for extension of some of the supplier, which we were not uh, Mr. Chair, convinced. I lament that General Mempin cannot, could not give a clear and complete account of this 44,638. And I still have a lot of questions to raise. So may I just uh, request General Mempin to please submit a written accounting of this 44,638 ICT packages with respect to their current whereabouts. Simply lang po ang question, General Mempin. Nasaan yung 44,000 minus 16,000 na ICT packages? Moving forward, Mr. Chair. General Mempin, I wish to raise questions about the DepEd Confidential Funds. There is such an AOM number 2024-15. This is dated... February 1, 2024. Out of the 150 million confidential funds that were given to DepEd, only three quarters were utilized. That is equivalent to 112.5 million. Are you aware of this, General Memphin? Uh, I just made aware during the uh, hearing about the Uh, confidential pan because I was not uh, directly involved in the... Okay, but at least you can confirm that in the Journals Appropriation Act of 2023, DepEd has 150 million budget for confidential fund. You're aware of that? Uh, yes, ma'am, as member of the Exico. And out of 150 million budget for confidential fund, only the first, the second, and the third quarter were utilized. That is equivalent to 112 0.5 million confidential fund. You're aware of that? I, must, uh, I was made aware of that, Your Honor, Mr. Chair. And sometime in February 2024, nag-issue po si COA ng audit observation memo. Ang sabi po dito, there is such as 75 million no, uh, disallowance na na-justify po nila later on, and out of the 75 million, however, mayroong 15.54 million pertaining to rewards to informers na hindi pa rin po na-clear because of lack of the necessary 
supporting documents. Can you please enlighten us on this? Uh, Your Honor, Mr. Chair, I was not uh, part of uh, how uh, the confidential fund is uh, being uh, utilized, so I was not uh, aware of uh, the uh, uh, discrepancy, Your Honor, Mr. Chair. I understand. Nevertheless, General Memphine, having spent a long years of career in the military, of course, you are aware about what confidential fund is. Yes, uh, Your Honor, Mr. Chair. Can you please enlighten us? What do you understand about confidential fund? Uh, confidential funds are uh, funds uh, allocated uh, for the uh, certain uh, uh, units or organizations for uh, for its uh, security, uh, maybe and uh, other in the furtherance of uh, of its mandate, particularly those who cannot be uh, uh, gathered through uh, the regular means of uh, acquiring, for example, information. And how will you differentiate confidential fund from intelligence fund? Uh, Your Honor, Mr. Chair, in my uh, opinion, uh, intelligence fund are uh, specifically uh, have a uh, uh, program being, uh, although it's, it's not being elaborated, but uh, it has go to the programs of uh, organization, for example, the uh, law enforcement unit, the armed forces, and even the uh, LGUs. While confidential plan has more on uh, flexibility, but uh, as uh, we discussed, there is certain uh, protocol uh, SOPs being followed under the uh, JMC 2015-01, ma'am. To recap what you said, General Memphis, and please agree with me if I am correct, no? Both have a purpose of addressing the safety and security of the nation. Tama po ba? Yes, uh, you're However, right. confidential fund is given to civilian offices. Tama? Uh, yes, Your Honor. While intelligence fund is given to military offices, tama po ba? Uh, military and uh, other law enforcement uh, yes. units, ma'am. In other words, they have the same purpose, confidential and intelligence fund. That is to take care of the national safety and security. However, magkaibang opisina ang gumagamit. Kapag confidential fund, it is given to civilian offices at kapag intelligence fund, military and like what you said, law enforcement offices. Tama, General Membin? Yes, uh, Your Honor, Mr. Chair. But we have to share also that under Republic Act 7160, the local government code, the LGUs are given confidential fund as well. They're authorized to have and utilize confidential fund. You must be aware of this because for the longest period of time, nandun po kayo sa Davao, and I understand like any other LGUs, nag-utilize din sila ng kanilang confidential fund. You agree with me? Uh, I don't have the uh, exact uh, information, but uh, I do believe they have, uh, they are, do, they are uh, using confidential funds in the uh, a part of their uh, uh, mandate uh, in respective uh, LGUs, ma'am. Remind lang po natin, Mr. Chair, because this was flashed already in the previous hearings. Ito po yung, should I say, escalation of confidential fund of the city of Davao starting from 2016, 144 million. 2017, you were already the head of the task force Davao, 294 million. And then 2010, Nanduna po kayo sa 10th Infantry Division, they have 420 million confidential fund in Davao City. And then 20, no, that's 2018. And then 2019 to 2022, consistent na 460 million confidential fund. 
Napakalaki po nito, General Memphin. Puntahan ko po yung 2017. 294 million. You were the head of Task Force Davao. Pwede po bang malaman how you appreciate the utilization of the 294 million confidential fund? Uh, again, ma'am, uh, in my... Uh, to be candid about it, Mr. Uh, Your Honor, Mr. Chair, uh, I was not uh, aware of uh, how the confidential fund is being uh, utilized or implemented. But uh, I am wa just wanted to report to the body that uh, the uh, LGU of the BAO, even uh, before and after my term, is uh, being supported in terms of. Uh, Logistics, meaning uh, uh, our uh, vehicles, the maintenance of uh, vehicles uh, are uh, coming from the uh, LGU. And uh, if there are major activities like uh, uh, gathering, like Kadayawan, Aron ng Dabao, all the uh, security elements uh, involved in the securing uh, Dabao City and its uh, major events uh, the LGU is uh, providing support in terms of uh, meals and uh, uh, logistics, meaning fuel uh, to our uh, uh, vehicles, ma'am. In other words, Gerald Memphin, all the activities that you raised earlier, collaboration with the Muslim communities, information dissemination, meetings with other intelligence units, collaboration with different sectors, presence of patrols, and coordination with other professionals. These are the activities which were supported by that $294 million in 2017. Uh, I have no idea, but because uh, aside from Task Force Dabao, there are also members of the uh, Joint Task but Force at least, at least those activities were part of the expenditures of the $294 million in 2017. Do you agree? I, uh, I believe so, ma'am, but uh, I'm not 100% uh, sure. Thank you. Now let us go to AOM 2024-15. Ito po yung na-mention ko kanina, General Memphin, na merong disallowance na 75 million. Out of 75 million, the basis of the disallowance of 15.54 million is the lack of supporting documents for payment of rewards. Reward to informers. And in response to the AOM, nakatanggap po ang COA ng certification galing sa apat na AFP officers. One is Colonel Moran Singh. Two is Lieutenant Colonel Sangdaan. Three is Colonel Panopio, and four is Major General Pahaw. Mayroon pong pinapa-explain ang COA na 15 million. This is about payment of reward to informers. And then in response, nag-submit po ang DepEd ng apat na certification. General Memphin, can you please enlighten us? What are these certifications all about? <clears throat> Your Honor, Mr. Chair, uh, the uh, certification that uh, I was asked to uh, coordinate with the uh, commanders on uh, in the area with regards to the uh, conduct of the Youth Leadership Summit are uh, present here. And... Uh, uh, I was just asked to get the feedback from uh, these uh, units of the Army in particular of uh, how they uh, conduct uh, the Youth Leadership Summit in their respective area and how effective it in uh, uh, securing or uh, this ensuring that uh, this uh, student out of school youth and even uh, uh, indigenous peoples, uh, youth of 
of indigenous peoples are uh, protected no because what that's one of the trust of also of uh, department of education that our youth be able to be a uh, productive citizens of our country thank you now let us go to colonel boran singh colonel boran singh there is a certification here signed by you i suppose this is dated january 1 2024 you are certifying about the eight activities for the Youth Leadership Summit with 531 participants, as well as information education campaign with 53 activities and 9,428 participants. Do you confirm this? Colonel Boransing, you are recognized. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, I confirm that, uh, Mr. Chair. I observe that the certification is addressed to to whom it may concern. And then at the end of the body, it says, for the commander. Kanino ho ba talaga naka-address itong certification na ito, Colonel? Uh, if I may, Mr. Chair, I'd like to explain about the certification. Please continue, yes, Mr. Uh, Colonel Boranding. Uh, our job... Uh, the First Infantry Division covers the whole of Sambuanga Peninsula and both Lanao provinces. Uh, Mr. Mr. Chair, Chair, with all due respect, Colonel, yes, uh, I, was, I, I, I have I, a limited time, so kindly give a responsive answer to the questions that are being raised. Ang tanong ko po, Colonel, kanino ho ba naka-address itong certification? Sa taas po, to whom it may concern, sa baba, for the commander. Yes, uh, Mr. Chair, this uh, was asked by the DepEd, and this is our standard format. For May all we know who in particular in DepEd asked for this certification? Um, USEC Mempin. USEC Mempin. Yes, Mr. Chair. And the, the, that is the standard certification because, because of our multi-stakeholder activities on the ground, a lot of other agencies ask for certifications. Like for instance, during the Youth Leadership Summits, we get a lot of lectures from other agencies and they ask certification. So this is our standard uh, certifications uh, we issued to all agencies uh, who ask for it. So, Colonel, you mentioned about the Youth Leadership Summit. Yes, Can you Mr. please Chair. name some of your, your resource speakers during this time? <clears throat> yes, uh, Mr. Ch uh, Mr. Chair. Uh, first of all, we have... Uh, uh, on criminality, we have uh, resource persons from the Philippine National Police. Can you please name names? Yes. Uh, the, we usually have the chief of police of the municipality. Uh, of, please uh, be specific, Colonel. Okay, ma'am. So uh, the ones that conducted the Youth Leadership Summit, ma'am, are, are line units, infantry battalions under us. So Kindly we have, give names, please. Yes. Uh, the chief of police. For example, Mr. Chair, uh, if I may, the Youth Leaders Summit, uh, August 7 to 9, August 2023, conducted in Barangay Poblacion, Madaya, Maging Lanao del Sur. Uh, Mr. Chair, there are eight Youth Leadership Summit, so at the very least, I'm expecting eight names uh, who were the resource speakers during that time. Yes, ma'am, if I may continue to read it, ma'am, it's uh, in the report. Kindly limit the answer, Please Colonel, continue, to the Colonel uh, So Boransi. we have... Uh, we have the Municipal Mayor of Masio, uh, Lano del Sur. We have uh, also... Do you have the date also? Can you please cite the date also? Yes, ma'am. Uh, as I earlier said... Date of YLS and then the resource speaker. Yes, ma'am. As I earlier said, this one is uh, August 7 to 9, 2023. The venue was uh, in uh, Maging Lano del Sur. So uh, we have Staff Sergeant Bacquiao, Lieutenant Colonel Miondas. We have Private De La Rosa, Lieutenant Colonel So Sierra. how many resource speakers do you have for every youth? Leadership uh, Summit. 
it depends on the commanders. Uh, for like, for instance, in uh, uh, local terrorist groups, where uh, uh, in Lanao, uh, it can range anywhere from five to ten. Is that the first, the one dated August? That's your first YSL. Uh, YLS. YLS. Uh, uh, for 2023, it, the, the first one was in May. Uh, it was in uh, some Buanga del Sur province. 2023, the first one was May. Yes. Uh, and then? Then we have the second one is uh, 16 June 2023. This was in Lanao del Sur, uh, the municipality of Bubong. And then the third? Uh, we have July 26 uh, for the 44th Infantry Battalion in Cabasalan, Sambuanga, Sibugay province, Mr. Chair. Then the we have August... Uh, uh, July 29 uh, in the Dikkilaa National High School, Iligan City. Six. Uh, then on September 29, we have in uh, Barangay Pugan, Concepcion, Misamis Occidental. Then uh, December, tw uh, December 12, we had in uh, Barangay D1, Dipolog City, Sambuanga del Norte. And as I earlier mentioned, uh, another one in Sambuanga del Sur, this time in Domingag uh, Municipality, ma'am. So those are eight uh, that were conducted uh, in the various areas. In Mr. Our Chair, with the manifestation of Colonel Buran Singh, I respectfully move that we issue Sabina Duces Tecum to the head of the schools, are they schools? Uh, uh, no, ma'am. Uh, not all of them are schools. One is Digkalaan. Uh, so what are they if they are not schools? Uh, uh, like, for instance, uh, the first one last May was conducted in a barangay, uh, in a city, ma'am. So Mr. Chair, planning. we are moving, I am moving for the issuance of Sapina Duces Tecum either to head of the school or barangay, which became the recipient of the Youth Leadership Summit yes, conducted by Colonel Buran Singh. Yes, ma'am. Now let's go to... There's a motion by the by Honorable uh, Congressman Luistro to... Issue a subpoena duces tecum to the head of school or barangay. Second, subject to the why YLS youth, youth leadership summit conducted by Colonel Boran Singh. Is there any second? second? Duly seconded by Honorable Flores. Is there any objection? Hearing none, the motion is carried. May we request as well, Mr. Chair, that the documents in the possession of Colonel Buran Singh, which I believe pertains to the Youth Leadership Summit, be submitted to the committee. Uh, Mother, uh, Mr. Chair, uh, according to the Freedom of Information Act, uh, since uh, these are confidential, we can share it, but uh, if we follow the act, uh, the Philippine Army or the General Headquarters Armed Forces would like to ask a written uh, Request from the committee, which is according to the Freedom of Information Act. The then we will provide. The is uh, requested to draft a uh, letter. Thank you, Mr. Chair. As requested by Colonel Boran Singh. Please continue, Congressman Luistro. Mr. Chair, I wish to direct the next question to Lieutenant Sangdaan. Lieutenant, Lieutenant. Kindly, kindly occupy one of the seats. Have you taken your oath, Lieutenant? Yes, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Lieutenant Sang Daan, I have here a certification which bears your signature, I suppose. This is about the 22 activities for the Youth Leadership Summit and 49 activities for the Information Education Campaign. This was held in the provinces of Ilocos Norte and Ilocos Sur as well as La Union. 
Do you confirm this certification? Yes, Mr. Chair, Your Honor. And the certification, similar to the one issued by Colonel Buran Singh, is addressed to, to whom it may concern on the upper part and then on the lower part for the commander. For the record, Lieutenant Colonel Sangdaan, kanino yes. nyo po ba talaga ina-address itong certification? Lieutenant uh, Sangdaan, to the DepEd, ma'am. And can you be particular? Sino po sa DepEd? Uh, ma'am, can I just give the background, ma'am? That was the instruction of I, my commander, and according to my commander, it was Major General Mempin who okay. requested Okay, you answered the question already. Yes, ma'am. And similar to the questions which I raised to Colonel Boran Singh, yes, do you have also some documents with you which uh, can provide details about the recipient of this 22 Youth Leadership Summit? Ma'am, right now, ma'am, I don't have the documents because I am no longer with the 5th Infantry Division, ma'am. I'm all, already reassigned to GHQ. But Le I assure you, ma'am, that you can there produce. are documents in You can the produce. Infantry. Yes, ma'am. Okay. May I just state for the record, Mr. Chair, that Lieutenant Colonel Sangdaan committed, manifested his commitment to submit the document about the 22 activities for Youth Leadership Summit. Yes, ma'am. Uh, just like what Colonel Boran Singh have said a while ago, ma'am. I think uh, it's much better for the... Yes, secretary. we will. Yes, we will, Lieutenant Colonel. Yes, what you, is important, The manifestation of Colonel, uh, Colonel Sangdahan um, for the committee to write a letter. Yun po ba yung gusto ninyo? Yes, ma'am. Yes, okay. sir. Yes, sir. Yes, the yes, COMSEC sir. is uh, requested to please, is directed to please um, write a letter requesting for the documents as uh, requested by uh, Congresswoman Luistro. Please, please continue, Congresswoman Luistro. But at least, Lieutenant Colonel Sangdaan, can you name some of those 22 activities? Yung naaalala nyo lang po, because this is quite a lot compared to the one which Colonel Bransing had. He had uh, only eight. You had 22. Um, um, uh, actually, these uh, YLS were conducted by the line units of the 5th Infantry Division, sir. Ma'am, just like the 5 of First Brigade, the 5th CMO Battalion, and other infantry battalions in the area, ma'am. As to the specific of which, ma'am, uh, hindi ko na ma-remember, ma'am. You, you mentioned which infantry division conducted this? Fifth Infantry Division. San po ba kayo kasama? Sa fifth po ba? Fifth Infantry Division, ma'am. As a staff of the Fifth Infantry Division, ma'am. As, as one of the staff of the yes, Fifth yes. Infantry Division. But I suppose that since you were the one who certified... You're supposed to have a personal knowledge of what happened. Uh, we base it on the on our records, from on our tabulated you, records. Do you do you intend to tell us, Lieutenant Colonel, that you were not the one who actually conducted this youth leadership summit? Yes, ma'am. The line units, ma'am, were the one who conducted those activities. If it is not you, then who? The different battalions, ma'am. For example, ma'am, uh, the 77th IB, the 5th CMO Battalion, the... Eh, bakit po kayo ang nag-issue ng certification? We have the tabulated data, ma'am. Yes, I understand. So, but for one to be able to issue a certification, tapat alam nyo. Tapat may knowledge kayo. Yes, ma'am. As have... a matter of fact, this is an inquiry in aid of legislation. You were sworn in before we started the hearing. And this will elevate the status of being a sworn certification already. Yes, ma'am. Eh, bakit po kayo nag ng certification kung wala kayong personal knowledge? Nag-certify kayo may 22 Youth Leadership Summit. Tapos hindi nyo po ito personally nalalaman. Is that what you wanted to say? 
We have personal knowledge, ma'am, because we have it in our data, ma'am, that the different line units... You are aware of the data only. Oh, sir, that are But not of the occurrence. Magkaiba po yun. Ganon din, ma'am, sa occurrence niya, ma'am. You are that aware of the occurrence as well? Yes, ma'am, that it was really conducted. Okay, balikan po ulit natin yung question ko. Name some of the youth leadership summit that you conducted, if you are aware of the occurrence? Uh, just like in San Mariano, Isabela, ma'am, we have conducted the uh, YLS there. Barangay uh, po iyan? Municipal, ma'am. Municipal. Ang recipient yes, po natin, sino? Sino pong audience nyo doon? Sino uh, pong participants? The youth from the municipality of San Mariano there were participants from the students in San Mariano and even out of school youth. Okay. Any yes, other? Any other YLS that you can recall? Uh, as reported by line units, ma'am, also in Baguio City. You are basing your testimony, Lieutenant Colonel, on the report. Tama po ba? Yes, That's what you said. Yes, ma'am. And this will only mean that you are not aware of the occurrence. If the statement that you're giving to us is based on the report and not on the personal knowledge of the occurrence, then you have no personal knowledge of how it happened. I'm aware, ma'am, that it you was are really aware of conducted. the data. You yes, are aware that it happened. But you were not personally there. Yes, yes. You did not participate. Yes, ma'am. We only provided uh, some speakers as requested by the concerned unit. How about this 22 that you mentioned in your certification? Ito ba na attendan mo lahat? No, ma'am. Honestly, ma'am, no. Ilan out of 22 ang na attendan mo, Lieutenant Colonel? I think only in San Mariano, ma'am. Only in San Mariano? Ma'am, can I give a background on... Kawa, may I just make a manifestation? How can you validate an accomplishment report with a certification? The signatory has no personal knowledge of what happened. Lieutenant Colonel was able to attend only one out of 22 Youth Leadership Summit. And this is okay with GOA? I'm sorry, but I do not understand. Colonel Buran Singh, if I may call you again, yun pong walo, ilan ang na-attendan nyo doon? Colonel Buran Singh, Out of eight Youth Leadership Summit, ilan po yung na-attendan nyo? Colonel Boransing, you are recognized. Yes, uh, Mr. Chair. I was only able to attend one. So that means that you have no personal knowledge as well I have of all the eight Youth Leadership Summit that happened? Uh, I have personal knowledge of this, ma'am. Uh, Mr. Chair, if I may explain lang po uh, the structure of uh, our, my position is I am the G7 of the Infantry Division. So the Infantry Division has three infantry brigades. Uh, they control uh, three, uh, one has four provinces, the other has uh, one province, and the other brigade has uh, one province. So I am in charge of supervising uh, I am the Civil Military Operations Officer, uh, Mr. Chair. So I closely monitor, we all closely monitor the program of the Youth Leadership Summit uh, to ensure that uh, it, uh, to ensure that it's, it is multi-stakeholder and it fits the objectives of the program. So we have personal knowledge. Uh, we can't go around in each barangay, but uh, they have, uh, since uh, we used uh, uh, budget from the uh, Philippine Army. We have after activity reports, uh, fund utilization reports, pictures and documentations. And uh, 
uh, we have to ensure this because uh, we have a yearly inspection from higher headquarters. So we may not have been there, but uh, we have uh, personal knowledge. We are the program managers of this book. You mentioned a while ago, Colonel Buransing. Yes. You were madam. using the fund of the Philippine Army. Uh, you confirm yes, that? Yes, uh, Mr. Are Chair. Are you sure? Yes, yes, Mr. Chair. For the eight YLS yes, uh, that Mr. were Chair. conducted, you used the fund of the Philippine Army. For our participants, we used our, uh, the Philippine Army. The, for the students, uh, they used the local government unit funds, uh, Mr. Chair. Okay, that is clear. Mr. Chair, I just wish to manifest the statement of Colonel Boran Singh that during the Youth Leadership Summit, for the military, they are using their military fund, and for the children or the youth, they are using the LGU fund. Uh, Mr. Chair, uh, if I may. Please continue. Yes. Uh, they use, uh, since uh, they use the, some use the provincial local government funds and the municipalities, uh, some delegates also are using the, uh, the uh, municipal LGU funds. And for the participants from the other stakeholders, from DepEd, from BIDEA, from the police, of course, they use their uh, own uh, uh, funds. Uh, so it's really a multi-stakeholder. In uh, other words, card. Mr. Chair, a lot of offices and agencies are using their respective funds for intelligence in conducting the Youth Leadership Summit. This is your statement, um, Colonel Buran Singh. Um, I didn't say uh, uh, intelligence funds, ma'am. Uh, what I said was, uh, like for instance, for their billeting for the hotel, they have to pay from their own agency funds. For their food, they have to pay for. What is clear, there are different offices uh, involved who shoulder their respective expenses. Yes, Mr. For Chair. the purpose of Youth Leadership Summit. Yes, Tama? Mr. Chair, yes. In other words, it is not only the DepEd. Yes, Mr. Chair. Who spends its confidential fund? Uh, I'm not, I have no knowledge of what their source of funding is. But in as far as you are concerned, kanya-kanyang gastos KKP. ang iba't ibang opisina. Uh, and for the children, the youth, you said it is being shouldered by the LGU. Tama? Yes, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Colonel. May we request Lieutenant Colonel Panopio? Colonel Panopio, you are recognized. Good afternoon, Mr. Chairman, Your Honor. Colonel, I have with me another certification bearing the signature of Magtanggol Panopio. Is this your signature? Yes, Your Honor, Mr. Chairman. On this certification, you certified 205 youth students from different schools. Three youth leadership summits held in the provinces of Bulacan, Nueva Ecija, and Zambales. You confirm this? Yes, Mr. Chairman, Your Honor. And similar to my question to the to Colonel Buransing and the other Lieutenant Colonel, nakalagay po sa certification nyo to whom it may concern to sa taas, sa baba for the commander. Kanino po ba talaga naka-address itong certification nyo? This is addressed to DepEd, ma'am. May I explain for the commander, ma'am? And can you please kindly be particular? Who in DepEd? Ang dami po nila sa DepEd. Sino po sa DepEd ang kausap nyo when you submitted this certification? Uh, Yusek uh, Nolasco Mempin, ma'am. That's Yusek Mempin. Okay. And... Can you please substantiate as well the three youth leadership summit that you conducted in your province? Ikaw ba nakaparticipate dito? Your Honor, Mr. Chairman, hindi po kami nagparticipate specifically because as a staff, we are just supervising and monitoring the activities of the youth leadership summit. So similar to Colonel Buran Singh, you are just aware of the occurrence 
but you were not part of the event. Yes, Your Honor, Mr. Chairman. And with respect to the expenditures for similar programs, would you confirm the statement of Colonel Buran Singh yes, na ang Honor, mga opisinang Mr. participants ay kanya-kanya ng gastos? Yes, Your Honor, Mr. Chairman. And with respect to the participating children and students thereat, Tama po ba yung sinabi ni Colonel Boransing, LGU, ang sumusuporta sa expenses nila? Yes, Your Honor, Mr. Chairman. Are you sure? Yes, Your Honor, Mr. Chairman. Can we recall Lieutenant Colonel Sangdaan? Yes, ma'am. Lieutenant Colonel, tanungin ko lang po yung pagdating sa expenditure. Do you confirm the statement of Colonel Boransing? kanya-kanya ng gastos lahat ng opisina. Yes, ma'am. Oh, no, no. Yes, ma'am. And with respect to the children and the youth, it is the LGU the LG... who support the expenses. Yes, ma'am, through their PAPS plan, ma'am. Thank you. Mr. Chair, I am done with uh, Lieutenant Colonel Panopio. I wish to proceed to Major Dome... Dombrige. Major Dombrige. Major Dombriding, you are uh, recognized. Have you taken your oath, Major? Nakapag-take na po kayo ng oath. Okay po. Major, meron po kayo ditong ano, uh, submission Prepared by you, certified by Lieutenant Colonel Panopio. This is about the Joint 7th Infantry Division DepEd Anti-Insurgency Campaign from January 1, 2023 to December 31, 2023. Do you confirm, Major? na ang sinertify nyo po dito ay 313 insurgency awareness and 9,000, no, and 166 posted social media products. Doctor, uh, yes ma'am, uh, Mr. Chair. Through uh, the that that uh, data was based on uh, the reports of our uh, line units. Ang kasama po dito, Brigada Escuela, Insurgency Awareness, Environmental Protection, Shared and Posted Social Media Products, and then you also have number of health-related activities. Ang dami po nito, Major. Tanong, saan po nang gagaling yung pondong ginagamit nyo for all of this? Ma'am, uh, most of that funds was uh, under the uh, PAPS on the APB of our line units. Ano po yung PAPS? Please enlighten us. Projects, activities, and programs po. And can you please tell us which agency is this? Uh, in particular, ma'am, is the Philippine Army in collaborations with uh, our uh, partner stakeholders on the ground. In other words, similar to the statement of the three prior officers, yung mga activities nyo, ang gumagastos is the armed forces of the Philippines. Tama po ba? Yes, ma'am, Your Honor. And as far as your counterpart is concerned, tama po? Opo, At... Paano nyo po ba ginagawa itong anti-insurgency awareness? Ma'am, uh, Your Honor, in partnership with uh, the different uh, schools and uh, local government units, our uh, line units is uh, conducting uh, intensified uh, information awareness drives on uh, security, uh, uh, security awareness, ma'am. How about the social media posts? Paano nyo po ba ginagawa to? Utilizing the social media platforms of our uh, infantry divisions and our line units, ma'am. We cross-post uh, social media, media products of uh, 
the uh, AFP units and uh, to include ma'am the uh, uh, other agency uh, social media products. Rough estimate lang po, Major. Sa tingin nyo po itong mga reported activities nyo na to, total of 9,712, the activities I mentioned earlier. If you're aware, mga magkano po ang nagastos na pondo ng AFP dito? But with that uh, figure, the number of uh, anti-insurgency flyers distributed, uh, a very minimal uh, expenses lang po dah dahil uh, uh, printed uh, flyers lang po ito dun na with the band paper po. You're saying our minimal. Slide. You're saying minimal. Minimal expense. You said that. Yes, ma'am. And it will no way reach 15 million. Tama? Hindi po, ma'am. Hindi. Hindi po. No way. No way. <laughs> Thank you. Mr. Chair, gusto ko pong balikan si General Mempin. General Mempin, you are recognized. I'm about to wrap up, Mr. Chair. Yes, uh, Your Honor, Mr. Chair. General, kanina po sabi nyo, <coughs> hindi nyo alam yung confidential fund. Yeah, you still correct. confirm that? That's correct, uh, Your Honor, Mr. But Chair. But I hope you understand that the certifications which I confirm from the AFP officers, <coughs> the four of them, pertains to the expenditure of 15 million taken from the confidential fund. And according to them, those certifications were required by you. Uh, Your Honor, Mr. Chair, actually I was uh, asked by the officer of the secretary to ask for certification pro coming from these uh, uh, units. But uh, it is uh, clear uh, to them or even to me that uh, no funds are uh, involved, meaning no funds uh, released to these uh, units. What uh, the officer of the secretary is wanted to know is the product or uh, the result of uh, the collaboration of various uh, stakeholders, including the PED, with regards to our uh, youth. So it is clear, ma'am, that uh, DepEd has not released any single centavo to the conduct of wireless to the uh, uh, units uh, mentioned, ma'am, Your Honor, and uh, Mr. Chair. If you are saying General Mempin na walang ni-release na pondo ang DepEd dito po sa Youth Leadership Summits, saan po ginastos yung 15 million? Uh, that's your honor, Mr. Chair. That was uh, I was not uh, aware of it because uh, my the task given to me is just to coordinate because uh, to be candid about it, the commanders of uh, Colonel Boran Singh, uh, Colonel Panopio, and uh, Lieutenant Colonel Sangdaan are my former uh, colleagues or classmates in the uh, Philippine Military Academy. Mr. Chair, I wish to ask the COA. Attorney Camora, tama ba ang understanding ko? Sa AOM, may disallowance na 75 million. Out of 75 million, you are asking for supporting documents of the 15 million which were paid as rewards to informers. Attorney uh, Camora, you are recognized. Uh, yes, Mr. Chair. Uh, and in response to that supporting documents, the DepEd submitted these certifications about the Youth Leadership Summit. Tama ba? Uh, yes, Mr. Chair. In other words, these certifications submitted by the AFP officers are being used as justification for the 15 million utilization paid as reward to informers. Tama po ba? Uh, yes, Mr. Chair. General Mempin, your statement is completely contradictory to the stand and position of COA. Uh, your Honor, Mr. Chair, as uh, I uh, previously mentioned, the only task given to me is to coordinate to my uh, colleagues in the active service of the uh, Philippine Army 
to have a uh, report on the conduct of uh, Youth Leadership Summit. But uh, as to the utilization or disbursement of uh, 15 million uh, payment to informers, I was not made aware of it. And uh, I have no knowledge that uh, uh, the, this uh, certification is for the payment of informers. Uh, Your Honor and uh, Mr. Chair. General Mimpin, I understand we also have Major General Bahao. You have a letter here, General Bahao. This is about the nine youth leadership summits. Kanino nyo po ito in address? Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, Mr. Chair. May I be recognized? Major General Bahao, you are recognized. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Ma'am, I addressed the letter to Yusek Nolasco Mempin, updating him of the YLS conducted in my division then. And uh, similar to the questions that were propounded to the three other AFP officers, kapag huba nagwa YLS kayo, sinong gumagastos? Ma'am, uh, sarisariling agency po na nagpa-participate dito ang gumagastos. Sa amin po, more on facilitation and security, kami po ang gumagastos sa sarili naming mga tropa. And with respect to the children and the youth who are the participants, do you confirm what they said already? LGU ang gumagastos? Yes, ma'am. At kanina po sinabi din ni General Memphin, balikan ko si General Memphin, Sabi niyo po, General, wala talagang gastos ang DepEd dito? Uh, to be clear, because uh, as uh, I was asked if uh, the confidential uh, funds issues for the conduct of uh, YLS, so it's clear that uh, no funds is uh, downloaded or given to the Philippine Army for the use of uh, uh, the conduct of uh, wireless, but uh, if uh, uh, confidential fund is uh, given General, to informers that, that is tantamount to saying na walang gastos ang DepEd sa inyo. When you said that they did not or DepEd did not download any fund to the military, that's, tama? That's correct, uh, so, Your Honor. So, what you wanted to say, walang ginastos ang DepEd sa taga-military when it comes to the Youth Leadership Summit. Do you confirm that? That's, uh, I confirm, that's correct, uh, Your Honor, Mr. Chair. Mr. Chair, I am very much surprised, but let me wrap up and make this manifestation before I yield to the other members of the committee. While, while we believe that these certifications were submitted to justify the 15 million that were allegedly paid to, as reward to informers. Now, all the officers from the AFP, that includes General Memphin, the USEC for administration, are stating that the DepEd did not utilize any of its confidential fund in support of the Youth Leadership Summit. These statements, Mr. Chair, are completely contradictory to what DepEd has made the COA believe in the submission of all these certifications. Mr. Chair, to proceed, let us all be reminded, ito pong confidential fund na ito, pera ng taong bayan. We all of us are accountable to the Filipino citizens. Public office is a public trust. We should be accountable to the people at all times. And I do not understand why these people who are supposed to explain the 15 million is totally unaware of the same because they are saying that they never use the debt ed fund and what they use is the fund of the AFP. While we understand, Mr. Chair, that confidential fund by its nature, is not encouraged to be scrutinized, there is nothing under the law that prohibits the same as well. There are important observations, Mr. Chair. Number one, among all civilian agencies, 
DepEd is one of the very few with confidential fund. Two, DepEd had this confidential fund only in 2023 and never in prior time. Three, I hope we can show also that while the DND, which has a mandate to address the national security, has 37 million confidential fund only, the Department of National Defense has 37 million. The DepEd, which mandate does not include national security, has 150 million confidential fund. Mr. Chair, to continue, while the police, the AFP officers already denied this YSL, YLS, having been supported by DepEd, 15.54 million po ang amount that the DepEd is trying to justify in making use of the certifications that were submitted by the AFP. Number five, Mr. Chair, prior to 2016, pag ang pinag-usapan po natin ay Youth Leadership Summit, it is the AFP who leads and they just coordinate with DepEd. But on the report that was given by COA, it seems to appear that the one leading the Youth Leadership Summit is the DepEd in coordination with AFP. Paligtad po ito. Number six, Mr. Chair, I do not want to preempt any conclusion. However, Mr. Chair, General Mempin spent 2017 to 2023 of his AFP career in the Vau City and the Vau region. During this time, the former president is the president and our vice president is the mayor. During those times, Mr. Chair, the Vau City, while it is authorized to have and to utilize confidential fund, I believe has one of the highest confidential fund among the LGUs in the entire country. I hope the Secretary can produce the data. I wish to ask Mr. Chair, ito bang lahat ng ito ay coincidences? Given this observation, let us all be reminded that the leeway that is being given to confidential fund is to be able to address a very important concern, and that is national security of the country. No more, no less. The procurement and the liquidation were made liberal in recognition of the significance of the purpose of the confidential fund. However, Mr. Chair, if there are glaring indications of irregularity already, as those that we have mentioned, plus the admission of the AFP, is it not that COA should address its mandate of making sure that all receipts and all expenditures are duly accounted for the Filipino people? Question number one, since when has irregularity in confidential fund been happening? Two, what has COA done so far with respect to its accounting rules in order to address the irregularity? And three, will COA simply brush aside these irregularities, especially with the admission of the AFP that they were the one who spent for the 15 million Youth Leadership Summit and not the Department of Education. Let us remember, regardless of which office in the government we belong, public trust always carries accountability. 
to tone down the mood of our investigation at para mas maintindihan po ako ng mga tao. Mayroon hong prominent na line sa pelikulang Star Wars. Ang sabi, comes with great power is great responsibility. If you translate this to constitutional language, let us all be reminded, public office is a public trust. The trust that is given to us by the people carries with it due accountability. Mr. Chair, it was clearly established that the certification issued by the AFP was used by DepEd to justify the payment of reward to informers. I just want to have this last question for the AFP. When you issued the certification, were you aware that this will be used to justify the 15 million payment of rewards by the DepEd? Can we hear from Major General Bahau? Yes, May I recognize Mr. Chair? Thank you, yes, ma'am. Uh, Major General uh, Bahjau. Of all the letters or certifications issued to DepEd for, for use The question, campaign. General, yeah. is whether you are aware, you were aware that the certification will be used to justify the 15 million reward to informers. We are not, ma'am. You are not aware. Yes, ma'am. Can we hear from Colonel Panopio? Mr. Chairman, Your Honor, we are Colonel not aware. Colonel Panopio, you are recognized. Yes, ma'am, Mr. Chairman. Your were Honor, you aware? We, we are not aware, Your Honor. You were not aware? Colonel yes, Boran Singh. Uh, Colonel Boran Singh, you are recognized. Thank you, Mr. Chair. We, uh, we were not aware, Mr. Chair. Colonel Sandangan. Colonel Sandangan, you are recognized. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, we were not aware, ma'am. In other words, Mr. Chair, without the knowledge of the AFP, the certification was issued to DepEd to be able to justify the 15 million that was used allegedly for the payment of reward. To this point, Mr. Chair, we're not even sure whether that money was indeed paid as reward to the informers. Mr. Chair, to call the attention of the COA, I just want to share this very enlightening jurisprudence Jover versus Field Investigation Office by turning a blind eye to the irregularities in the allocation and disbursement of public funds. Petitioner condoned a practice that deprived many of her countrymen of funds which could have been used for projects to help improve their livelihood. It is not enough that we have submitted ourselves to the loose and relaxed requirement of the Joint Circular 2015-01. While we tolerate all these irregularities, we are causing the privation of the basic needs of the so many Filipino citizens. I hope that COA realized that. And to close, Mr. Chair, I just want to stand corrected. What I shared earlier is not from Star Wars. <laughs> it's from Spider-Man. <laughs> Comes with a great power, is great responsibility. And when we have this public trust, it carries with it public accountability. Thank you, Mr. Chair.